Oh, is there somebody else in there? There he is being walked out. He jumped out once the gas was thrown in. And that is one of the people in the hotel. We don't know how many were in there. That is one. He came out of the window when the gas was thrown in. They now have him handcuffed sitting outside. There's the SWAT team, and it looks like they still have their guns drawn. I can't tell what they're doing. Yeah. That's true. And this is the roadway in up in Newport Ritchie. US-19 is still closed in both directions, but they do have one suspect out. You can see them with him in the handcuffs. They're going over him now. They're trying to figure out who he is and check to see if he's okay. Sheriff deputies on scene right now standing in front of him. Now here's where they pulled him out. You can see that's a mattress that fell through the window. He had it barricaded up against the glass window. And when they pulled the armored assault vehicle up and smashed in the window, we watched the glass shatter and the mattress and some pillows fall out. They threw in some tear gas and within minutes, the suspect dove out of the window onto the ground. He was quickly apprehended and now he is down on the sidewalk in custody. So it looks like this incident is over, and I will pull out wide. 
Uh, you can see a big crowd of onlookers lined on the side of US-19. US-19 is still closed in both directions while they wrap this situation up. You can see the SWAT team is now coming out back to the armored vehicle. That again is a mattress that fell out of the window through the barricaded, sis barricaded suspect. And down here is the suspect. So it looks like the situation is under control. They are now bringing an ambulance up to check him out to make sure he is okay. We are on US-19 up in Newport Ritchie at the Roadway Inn, right off US-19, and both directions of US-19 are closed. Newport Ritchie Police as well as the Sheriff's Office are out here. And this is the Pasco County Fire Rescue. They're getting a stretcher to apparently load the suspect onto to take him to make sure everything is okay. And four. So for the people just tuning in on Facebook Live, we are, I can pull out wide, show you where we are. This is in Newport Ritchie. This is the roadway in on US-19. The suspect was barricaded in. It lasted a good couple of hours. Here is the armored assault vehicle they used to smash out the window. He had mattresses and everything up against the window. You can see the mattress there to barricade himself in. He would not come out. Eventually they smashed the window. They threw in tear gas and within minutes the suspect dove out of the window onto the ground, quickly apprehended by the SWAT team. And I'm going to move back down here. And there goes the suspect. They're going to load him back onto this back of the ambulance. He's sitting down onto the stretcher now. And they're going to cover him. We're moving the helicopter a bit as we're flying. And this is US-19 that is still shut down in both directions. So if you're up in this area, expect delays. Here is the suspect who dove out of the window. Once tear gas was in, I'm going to push in a little further so you can get a better view. And there he is on the back. Of the, or on the stretcher and they will take him into the back of the ambulance and transport him to the hospital and then eventually to the Pasco County Jail. But that's the suspect, so they're loading him into the ambulance now. Once he's in, they can start clearing up the scene and then US-19 should open up in both directions as it gets back to normal up here in Pasco County. But you can see he was there and at some point you'll be able to see the live video or the video of him coming out of the hotel window and there's Pasco Sheriff or actually it's a Newport Ritchie Police Department pulling up and he will be transported to the hospital no doubt accompanied by sheriff deputies and Newport Ritchie Police but this is it this is the roadway in up here in Newport Ritchie it is now, the situation is over. The man is in custody. He was wanted, and I'm not sure what he was wanted for, but during this, they had the whole part, this part of US-19 shut down to traffic, and it was a mess up here. They now have all the police and sheriff are wrapping up their investigation. They'll probably be talking to media, and soon we will get a media alert of what happened. Here's some Newport Ritchie police officers now starting to clear the scene. SWAT team is walking out. The armored assault vehicle is on its way out. The suspect is still in the back of this ambulance. He will be taken to an area hospital where he will be treated for any injuries and then eventually taken into custody to the jail in Pasco County. So if you've tuned in on Facebook, you can see more on News Channel 8 starting at 4, then you get at 5, 5.30, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock on News Channel 8. And we'll definitely have more as the information becomes available. But like I said, the suspect is now in custody. 
He is in the back of that fire rescue vehicle. There is the assault vehicle that helped get him out. It is driving out. It's going to go over the grass and then out. I'm checking my email, see if I have any new information. No new information. But US-19 still closed in both directions. It should be opening soon. There goes the suspect in the back of the Pasco, Funny, Pasco County Fire Rescue Unit. And it is being driven off. He will be going to an area hospital for treatment, then to the jail. The roadway in should be operating back to normal soon. US-19, I see a car driving on it, but I don't believe it's opened yet. It's still closed in both directions, but in a matter of time, it should be open as well. So the situation up here at the roadway in, in Pasco, right off US-19, should be over. Everything should be getting back to normal. Custody, or suspect taken into custody. He was barricaded in his room. He had mattresses and TV and everything piled up against the window. When the sheriff's office busted through the window, we saw the mattress fall out, a pillow fall out, and eventually tear gas was thrown in, and within minutes, the suspect dove out of the window onto the ground. He was quickly surrounded by the SWAT team and taken into custody. So that's what's going on up here in Pasco County in Eagle 8 HD. Paul Lamison reporting, and you are watching on Facebook Live. And again, don't forget to tune in for our coverage throughout the day.